The page we are now on is step one of three, creating a campaign. This is where we, among other things, name the campaign, set the date and time for display, and choose a bid management strategy. Let's start at the top. You can use any characters for the name of your campaign, but make sure the name you choose will help you distinguish it from other campaigns you might make in the future. Set a date using the calendar next to impression schedule as the launch date for your campaign. By default, ads in Yandex Direct take place 24 hours a day. If you want to choose specific times for your ads, you can do so using time targeting. Next, in the geo-targeting section, you can choose the regions where your ads appear. These should be areas where your business operates, where you offer goods or services. Bid adjustments by region are also available and automatically raise or lower your bids depending on a user's location. Extended geotargeting is enabled by default and allows your ads to appear to users outside your target regions if their search query mentions one of your display regions. The next block we can see is an important one, managing impressions. Here, you can decide whether to manage your bids manually or use one of our automatic strategies. Here, you can also choose on which sites your ads will appear, search sites, and or ad networks. To find out more about bid management strategies, check out our video tutorials or the corresponding help section. In the settings in ad networks block, you can choose the amount of your budget that you are willing to spend on impressions in ad networks. This amount is expressed as a percentage of your overall campaign budget. You can also set a maximum cost per click for ad networks as a percentage of your search bid and tick the box if you want to make sure your network cost per click stays below your search cost per click. Bid adjustments allow you to raise or lower your bids for different types of audiences. For example, by gender and age, device type, and using Yandex Metrica data if you have a counter installed on your site. You can also enable the Stop Ads When Site Is Not Working option. If your site is unavailable for any reason, impressions for your ads will stop until the site begins functioning properly again. In the next block, Keyword Optimization, the first option you see is negative keywords. This is where you add keywords that you don't want your ads to appear for. Negative keywords can be up to seven words in length. Separate them using either a minus sign or a comma. The related keywords tool shows your ads for keywords similar to yours, but not currently in your keyword list. The keywords found by this tool help you expand your coverage of your target audience while also giving you an idea of which keywords are worth adding to your list. You can find out more about how this tool works in the relevant help section or here on our YouTube channel. You can also set a percentage of your campaign budget that you are ready to spend on related keywords. If you have offline brick and mortar locations that customers can visit, you can enter your address and phone number in the vCard. Contact information from your vCard will appear in your ad text on search results pages and in ad networks. If your site has a Yandex Metrica counter, add its number here in your campaign settings and make sure the tag links for Yandex Metrica box is ticked. This will guarantee that Yandex Metrica and Yandex Direct share data correctly and display it correctly in reports. In this next block, you can opt in to receive automatic notifications via email or text message that will keep you up to date with any changes in your account. And with that, we've covered all the basic campaign settings. But if we click on this arrow, one last block on this page will open up with special settings.
If there are certain sites in the Yandex advertising network or external ad networks where you don't want your ads to display, you can exclude them by adding the site domains, mobile app IDs, or names of external networks here. You can block impressions on up to 1,000 sites and ad exchanges, but not on Yandex and Mail.ru search sites. You can set the number of ad groups that appear on the campaign page with the next setting, number of ad groups on campaign page. Setting a lower number means the campaign page will load more quickly. To block impressions for specific users, you can add their IP addresses by clicking Add next to Blocked IP Addresses. Up to 25 IP addresses can be added to the list to prevent your ads from appearing to them. The first checkbox in Special Settings allows you to disable extended ad titles. Yandex Direct takes all your competitors' ads for the given keyword into account when calculating prices for positions. You can exclude competitors' ads that have been stopped automatically. Please note that you may notice prices for positions changing significantly throughout the day, which can lead to your ad to often disappear from your chosen position. You also have the option of adding the campaigns you work with most to a separate list where you can easily find them. To do this, just tick the box next to Add Campaign to Most Important. And there you go. We've covered all the campaign settings. Now let's move on to the next step by clicking Next. Now we'll move on to the second step, creating your ads and reviewing all settings at the ad group level. In one ad group, you can create one or more ads with common keywords and display criteria. Select the ad type. For search ads, you should select text and image. If you are making campaigns specifically for use in ad networks, choose text and image or image ads. We recommend adding a mobile ad with separate landing pages and ad texts to each group. If the campaign contains both regular and mobile ads, Yandex Direct will give preference to mobile ads for impressions on mobile phones and to regular ads on desktops and tablets. Write appropriate titles for your ads. Make it clear to users right in your ad title that they have found what they were looking for. To help you stay within the character limit, you can see the number of characters remaining to the right of the text field. Use ad texts to tell users about your products or services in detail. Keep in mind, however, that character limits apply, up to 81 characters including spaces and punctuation. Add a link to your landing page. Display links are a custom text at the end of your URL. We recommend using a link that is easy to read and makes it clear where the user will go if they click on your ad. Display links should be 20 characters or less, excluding the domain name. Ad extensions. You can add images, site links, and callouts to your ads to boost their performance. Images can appear in your text ads on ad networks. Site links help shorten the user's path to the information or section of your site that they need. Callouts are short texts where you can tell users about what sets your products or services apart. They appear in an additional line below your ads. If you have an offline point of sales, you can add the address and phone number to your vCard. Contact information from your vCard will be added to your text on search pages and in ad networks. Now we've created just one ad. Remember that each ad group can contain up to 50 ads. Adding more ads to this group will allow you to determine which one performs best. Click the Add Banner button to create another ad. To make a similar ad in fewer steps, click 
copy from previous ad and make the necessary changes. You can also add an image if your ad displays in ad networks. Click Add Banner and select Image as your ad type. Upload your existing images or create one using Ad Builder. New Keywords The keywords you add should be phrases that users search for to find products or services like yours. If you don't know which keywords to add, there are suggestions to help you out. Yandex Direct collects those queries that users entered alongside your keyword. Add negative keywords to the ad group to exclude search queries unrelated to your topic. This setting works just like at the campaign level, but has priority over campaign level negative keywords. You can show your ads to previously selected audiences, or to those users who visited your site and completed certain actions. To take advantage of this feature, you must have a Yandex Metrica counter installed on your site. These ads will only appear in ad networks. Display regions can also be set at the group level if you have different ad groups for different regions. Bid adjustments are another feature that can also be set at the ad group level. Tagging your ads makes them easier to find later on. And with that, we've finished step two. We've learned how to create an ad, select keywords, and choose individual settings at the ad group level. Let's click Next and move on to our last step. Our last step is to check whether there are any typos in our ad texts and make sure we've added all possible relevant keywords. Once you've finished checking, we can move on. Click Next. Your ad is now located in the Drafts section. We can send it for moderation or add another ad group if you'd like. 